So, a story map is very similar to sequencing the story with pictures, but a story map is when you draw it yourself and it's almost like a little journey and you can show the, the order of the book through pictures. So here, I've got almost like a little path and this is going to be my storyline. And I'm going to start like the book does. And at the start, we've got a tiny, tiny seed. So there's my tiny seed with all the other seeds here. And they're going to blow off with the wind. Okay, the wind is going to take them in the direction they're going, off they go. So I've got my tiny seed and the other little seeds and they're blowing off into the wind. And the first part of the story talks about the sun. So here's my sun. I've got it's very, very hot sun there. And here's the tiny seed and all the other seeds here along this journey on this path and the second part. But a couple of the seeds go too close to the sun and the sun is too hot and the seeds don't survive. So to show that, I can do a little X there to show that oh, the, the, the sun was too hot, the seeds couldn't grow. So that's the first part of the story. Then we follow the path and we go to the next part in the book, which was mountains. So I'm going to draw mountains like my Maisie mountain mountain. Here they are, there's my mountains. And some of the seeds got planted on the mountains. There's my little seed and the wind's blowing them to the mountains. Oh no, don't run out, Pen. Okay, so there's the wind and the little seed is there. And some of the seeds get planted on the mountains, don't they? And they get left there. But what happens to the seeds if they're too cold? Do they survive? No, they don't. So I'm going to show there that the seeds were not very good in the mountain conditions in the colder climate. So I'm going to put a little cross to show that the seeds didn't like the mountains, they didn't survive. But it's okay because the wind carries the baby seed along this path, the next part of my story, and they go into the sea. So I'm going to draw here the sea, here with some fish down the bottom. It's my fish. <laughs> and here's the baby seed, the tiny seed, and some seeds go in the water. Well, can seeds grow in the water? No, they can't. So the seeds can't survive in the water either. So the wind takes the tiny seed onto the next part of the journey, which was in the desert. So here I'm going to draw my desert and I've got my little cactus there showing it's all its prickly spikes. There we go. But what happens in the desert? It's too hot in the desert and the seeds can't grow without any water. So it's almost like we've got too hot, too cold, too wet, too hot. And we're showing that through our pictures, our images. But it's okay because the seed gets blown away again and then the seed gets planted in the soil and he gets buried under a blanket of s snow. So there is my little baby seed with all the other seeds planted under a layer of snow. And what animal comes and tries to get the snow, tries to get the seeds? It was a little mouse, wasn't it? So here's my little mouse trying to get to the seeds. <laughs> And then the next part of the story is a bird comes along and tries to get the seeds, but it didn't notice the little seed because it was hiding in the grass, in the soil. It was too small for the bird to see. And then the seed eventually grows into a really big flower, doesn't it? It's ginormous. So I'm going to draw that on my storyboard as well. There it is, a big, big flower, bigger than all the houses and all the people. There's my little stick people there, look, looking up at this ginormous flower. There it is. It's huge, ginormous. And then eventually, though, as the season change, all the petals fall off and eventually the seeds go back up with the wind again. And I'm going to show that by drawing more wind. So, boys and girls, you can draw your story map of the tiny seed in any way you want to. You don't have to do as many pictures as, as me. If you want to do more keywords, you can. So here you could put cold or too hot. Or here in the desert, you could put too dry. 
you need to really think about why the seed didn't stay in each place and why did he keep on moving and that's how we've shown it with our path down the uh, down my board here